So we're going to make the stage that we made during our Zoom. All you need is scissors, crayons, construction paper, glue, and a ruler. We didn't use a ruler during our Zoom time, but I'm going to show you how you can use one making the stage. So you're going to make two lines, five, five inches apart. After you make your two lines, you're going to make a little mark where it's three inches. And you're going to do that for every three inches. You should end up with four marks. Go ahead and connect your two lines. So now that you did that, we're going to go ahead and just label each of the boxes. So this is going to be your curtains, so I'm just going to put a C. This is going to be your top, this is going to be your backstage, this is going to be your stage, and this is going to be your audience. So what you're going to do is you're going to make three columns. And then you're going to make three columns on your stage, and that's the one with the label S. And you're going to make two more rows, so you have nine boxes. So now that we have our nine boxes, we're going to go ahead and mark the middle box as our center. Now this is the part that got a little confusing, so I'm going to draw a little person on backstage like that. Now, remember when we turn it around, it's always the right side and the left side of the actor. So, this side, even though this is my right hand, this is going to be stage left. And this is going to be stage right. Because when we turn the paper around, this is our right and this is our left. And stage directions always go based off of the actor. Now that we have stage right and stage left, this is going to be upstage. Because remember, back in the day, it used to be on a ramp. So this is at the top part of our ramp. And this is going to be downstage. It's all the way down to where the audience members are. And these are both on the center. So this is upstage center and this is downstage center. Over here, since this is our left side, this is going to be upstage left and this is going to be downstage left. So I'm going to put upstage left. And since my boxes are a little small, you could also just put down, stage, left, just the initials. So right here, if this is upstage and it's on the right side, it must be up, stage, right. And right here, it's down, stage, right. Now that we finished our boxes, we're going to go ahead and add our apron. So the apron is a little part of the stage that comes closer to the audience. Just like that. So our stage part is now finished. We're going to go ahead and move to our audience people. So grab whatever color you want and you can make little people or you can make little seats. Whatever you want in this area. Like so. So remember, 
that you're drawing your audience people where the A is at the bottom rectangle. Now we're going to move to our B, our backstage area. So right here I want you to do whatever you would like your backstage scene to be. So I'm going to just draw some grass, um, maybe some mountains, like so. And you can do whatever you want right here. You could put a rainbow, you can make a castle, a farm, it could be anything you want. I'm going to put a sun, maybe some birds, and some clouds. So remember, we're drawing this part on our B rectangle for our backstage. Our T part is the top of our stage, and we're going to leave that blank. We're going to go ahead and move on to our C, where our curtain is going to be. We're going to turn our paper around so it's like this, and we're going to draw our curtains. Your curtains can look any way you want them to hang. So I'm going to do mine like this. And then I'm going to make little, like, bubble bumps here, like so. And then when we cut this out, this whole section is going to be cut out, just like that. Yep. Now we're going to cut out our whole rectangle area. like that. Now we're going to fold our paper on our lines right here. And I'm going to start with our audience member being folded up. So let me fold that. Just like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and move to our backstage and our stage being folded. Just like that. So now we have two folds. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing right here on this line. Our paper should now be folded in three different sections. We're going to do the same thing right here. Like that. So all our lines, our sections of our rectangles, should have folds in them. What we're going to do now is we're going to cut out our space right here. Just like that. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to color my curtains. You don't have to do this, but I think it adds a nice little detail to it. So remember, you're coloring your curtains on the opposite side of everything else. You flip your paper around and you're going to color it on the opposite side. So what you're going to do now is you're going to fold the bottom of your curtains just a little bit and this is where you're going to put your glue. So it's going to sit like this. So. 
your little tabs are gonna go on the line of where your apron is. So I'm gonna put some glue here. And it just needs a little bit, not a lot. And you're gonna fold it over and put it on the line of where your apron is. You might want to hold it down just for a little bit so it doesn't move. And once that's done, you'll have your little stage. Okay. So this is our finished product. This is the one that I made during our zoom. And remember how I said Miss Serena missed a step? It was our top part right here. But I think both of them look good the way they are. So whichever way you want to do it, that's okay. The main important thing is that we have our stage directions here and we're able to see them.